In this video, we're going over how to use the Alcatel Joy Tab for beginners. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on all the mobile technology coming out and learn cool tips, tricks, and hidden features, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the bell to turn on post notifications so it can be alerted every time we post new videos. Today we're going to do a quick tutorial. We're just going to walk you through how to use the Alcatel Joy Tab. We're gonna start with the exterior buttons and we'll move on to navigating the screen on the inside. So the first thing we'll start with is on the left side here, you'll find this little opening here where your memory card goes um, for SIM service, as well as your micro SD card if you wanna expand the storage. So simply you just pop this little thing open and this is where you would pop in your SIM card and your micro SD memory card. At the top of the screen here, you will find a couple of things you'll find your charging port, which is a micro SD charging port, and your headphone jack. Right here is your IR blaster, which allows you to control your TV with your joy tab. On the right side here, you'll find your power button and your volume up and volume down button. Tap that power button quickly. It will turn off the screen or put it to sleep. Tap it again to wake up the phone and to actually turn the, not the phone, excuse me, the tablet. To actually turn the tablet off, you'll need to hold down the button for one second to bring up this menu. And you'll just simply tap power off to turn it off or restart, or you've got a screenshot option there. So that's essentially how you would turn the tablet off altogether. Now, when you hit the button to turn the screen on, to um, unlock the tablet, you simply need to just take your finger and just slide it up. And that's how you unlock the tablet and get to your home screen. Now on the home screen, you will find three buttons here. You'll find a back button, a home button, and what is called a recent apps button. I'll start with the home button. What the home button does is simply always will take you back to this screen no matter what you're doing. So for example, if you're in this application, which is the camera, let's say you went into the camera, all you'd have to do is hit the circle if you wanted to go back to your home screen. It always takes you back to home. And now if you hold down the button, it will launch your Google Assistant, which you can use to uh, do simple tasks like Googling something or um, you can use your voice to set timers or alarms or calendar appointments, things like that. So that all happens with the Google Assistant, which is putting your finger on the circle for one second. To the left here, you'll find your back button, which will always take you back one step. So for example, if I were to go to this app here, which is the settings application, and let's say I were to select battery. If I tap on battery, and let's say I make a change, if I wanna go back one page, I simply tap, tap on this button right here, which is the back button, and it will take me back one page. Now, if I wanna go back another step, or if I tap the button again, it's gonna take me out of the app and back home. So it will always take you back one step until the last step is to simply take you home and now you're home. This button here is your recent apps button. Tapping this will show you all the applications that are currently running on your tablet. Important thing to note is that whenever you tap on one of these little icons, which are applications or short for, or apps, whenever you tap on one of these, um, they will open. And when you hit the home button, it will take you back home, but it doesn't, close out that application that is still running in the background. Hence why if I hit the menu button here or recent apps, I'm gonna see that Google Chrome is still open. If I actually wanna close out that app, I have to swipe up. So I can swipe up to actually close out these applications and now nothing is running in the background of the phone. Keep saying phone, but I mean tablet. I do a lot of phone videos, so forgive me for saying that. I just mean tablet, that's all. So that's where, so that's how you use the three navigation buttons at the bottom of your screen. Now, if you'll notice here, this bottom row of apps keeps jumping. It's jumping because the tablet is trying to tell you that by swiping up, 
you will get to what is called your app drawer. This is where you'll find all of the applications that are currently loaded on the tablet. And if you download a new application or a new game, it will show up in this section. So this is where you find, again, every little thing that we can do with this tablet in this section, okay? So next we're gonna go over what is called the notification panel, which is accessed by swiping down from the top of the screen. Now what this essentially does is it shows you various notifications of things that are happening on your tablet. For example, if you sign into your Google account and you get a new uh, email, it'll show you you have new emails in this section. If you downloaded a game and you unlocked new progress, it would show up in this section. So anything that is happening on the tablet will normally pop up as a notification in this section. If you have Instagram on the tablet and you got a like, it'll show up in this section. Everything you do is gonna have an alert that will show up in this section. And you can easily just tap to take you right to whatever that application is, just like this. What you'll also find in this section are what are called switches. These are shortcuts to important um, things you can control on the tablet. For example, mobile data, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, rotating the tablet, GPS, airplane mode. Let's say you wanna connect your tablet to your home Wi-Fi network. This is your Wi-Fi icon. Now I can simply tap on it to turn on Wi-Fi so that now my tablet is looking for Wi-Fi. Um, now what you actually have to do is you'd actually have to hold down on the button and it will take you to the Wi-Fi menu in the settings and then tap on this little icon to turn on the Wi-Fi and now it will begin to look for your Wi-Fi network. So we'll give it a second, but it should find my home Wi-Fi network and then it will give me an option to connect to it. So here's our list of all the Wi-Fi networks around. This is my network right here, so I'm just gonna tap on it. And then this will pop up along with the keyboard and it will allow you to type in your password for your Wi-Fi before you are able to connect. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Once you've typed in the password, you're gonna hit connect and you will know that you have successfully connected to your Wi-Fi because now you will see connected under the Wi-Fi network here. And you'll also see this little Wi-Fi icon in the corner. That's how you know you are now connected to Wi-Fi. This is a very important step because um, with Wi-Fi, you're able to then download applications, games, it will look for new emails, uh, new notifications, all that stuff. So you definitely wanna be connected to either the mobile network or your Wi-Fi. That's just uh, a quick summary of what you would do in this notification section up here. Now just to show you, swiping down one time will take you to this menu, but if I swipe down again, it will show me more options. So I have, for example, a battery saving option for when the battery is low. I have a cast option if I wanted to send something from the tablet and show it on my TV. I can swipe to the left here and I have a mobile hotspot option as well. You also have a shortcut in the bottom right corner to get to your settings right here. And sorry for the zoom going in and out, it's uh, struggling a little bit. This is a quick little pop-up just telling me that there's a software update for the tablet, so that's good to know. So we've gone over a lot of the main items. The last thing I wanna show you is how to download applications onto your tablet. You would do that by going to the Play Store. This is literally your one-stop shop for everything from uh, music, movies, um, ebooks, you name it, you download it all in this app. Now, first, before you're able to download anything, you have to sign into a Google account or a Gmail account. It's the same thing, um, but you need to have one in order to sign in to download applications. So I'm gonna click on sign in. So it's gonna do a quick check to see if I have a Google account already on the tablet, which I don't. So on this page, what we'll need to do is one of two things. You'll either need to sign into your Gmail account if you already know your password and email address, 
or you'll need to create a, a Google account or a Gmail account by tapping on the create account button. So very important, if you don't have a Gmail account or a Google account, you need to click on create account and make a new one right now. I already have one. I'm gonna simply tap in the box here and I'm gonna simply type in my email address and password. Let's do that right now. Okay, so I've tapped in my email address and my password. I'm hitting agree to the options here. We have our last page here. I'm gonna also hit accept. And again, sorry, the screen is kind of struggling with the, the all white uh, menus. But now we are in the Google Play Store. And in here, you can download again, anything you can think of on your tablet. They are broken down into categories. So games, apps, movies and TV, books and music. So go to the corresponding section based on what you're trying to download. What I'd like to do is keep it simple. If I know the game I want or the app I want, I'm gonna either tap in the box here and I'm gonna type in the name of the app or game, or I'm gonna tap on the microphone and just say it and it will automatically search it for me. So maybe you wanna download Netflix. I'm just gonna tap on the microphone. Netflix. So it did take a few seconds there, but it's doing a search for Netflix now and I can easily just tap on install and it will download Netflix to the tablet. That's essentially what um, was the next step, but it kicked me out of the Play Store. But that's how you download applications in a nutshell. You just search it, tap on the green install button and it will allow you to install it. Now, if you ever see a price, instead of it saying install, that means that it's not a free application and you will need to first uh, pay for it. So keep in mind, if you're not wanting to pay for apps, maybe look for another version that is free. And that's it guys. This has been a quick tutorial on how to use the Alcatel Joy Tab for beginners. Hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment down below. Let us know if the video was helpful and also if you have any additional questions, we'll try our best to get to them in the comment section down below. Thanks again for watching. Take care and have a good one.